will be making this checkers and checkerboard game. Alright, so let's begin. Okay, for our project, we're going to be needing some fabric scissors, black fabric, and some red fabric. Or, if you want to get out of the traditional uh, checkerboard game, you can use any color you like. Okay, and you'll need pins, a ruler, a seam guide, and your pattern. And uh, let's begin. I'll tell you the measurements of the pattern in a second. Okay, so your pattern is going to be three inches across and three inches down. And you're going to cut 32 in black and 32 in red. Okay, so let's begin. You're going to fold your fabric in half. Um, let me, you're going to need about a yard or you might need a half yard. I just use scrap pieces for mine. So you're just going to count them by twos until you have 32 black. And you're going to do the same thing with the red by pinning and cutting out. And then 32 in red. Alright, or if you're doing non-traditional, whatever color you like. Okay. For your first combination, it's going to be black, red, black, red, black, red, black, red. And then when you start your next row, it's going to be red, black, red, black. Alright, so you're just going to pin this to your sides, and then you're just going to pin along the row. Okay, I'll show you. I'm going to sew this at a half seam allowance. On my machine, it happens to be the four. I know you can't see this, but there's a four on my sewing machine. Uh, yeah, a four on my sewing machine, and that's where the half inch. You'll have to figure out where your half inch is on your machine. But we're sewing at a half an inch. Okay, so you should have a strip that looks like this, starting with black, red, black, red, black. So you'll start your next row. Your next one will be red, but we're not going to sew it to this one. We're just going to sew another strip like this, but it starts in red, okay? So it'll be red, black, red, black. Let me show you. So don't do anything with this strip just yet. Set this aside for a few minutes, and then we're going to start on our next uh, row, which starts in red, okay? So you're going to pin across your two rows, and you're going to sew at a half a seam, a half an inch again, and then you're going to have something that looks like this. And you're going to repeat that to your next row. So your next row will be black, so you'll sew a strip like the bottom one here, and then we'll add it to our top here, okay? So we're going to sew our strip of black, red, black, red, black, red, and then we're going to sew it onto this, okay? Let me take you to the next step. Now you should have something that looks like this. These were the last two rows that we did. And we sewed them on to our checkerboard. And then with the remainder 32, you're going to do the same thing. So we have two halves now that look like this. Alright? So now we're going to sew this part to the other part. Okay? So repeat the steps for the other panel. Alright? Let me put them together and show you. Now where you got your edge sewn, now we're going to iron this whole thing, and then I'll take you to your next step, okay? Okay, so you're going to cut a piece of batting about the same size as your checkerboard, and then you're going to do the same thing for your back piece. So now we're going to pin the batting on the wrong side of your fabric, and then you're going to put your checkers uh, with the right sides, the right sides of your lining together. And you're going to pin. And then you're going to sew a half a seam around this again, leaving a two inch opening at one of your ends, okay? So your batting goes on your wrong side of your fabric, and your lining goes with the right sides of your fabric. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the right sides. And that's the wrong side. Okay? So sew that at a half a seam and I'll take you to the next. Okay, so you're going to pull right sides out. You should have something that looks like this. You're going to iron this flat. And then you're going to sew your two inch seam that you pulled your right sides out with. Alright? Now I'm going to show you how to make the checker pieces. So your checkboard, checkerboard is done. Let me show you how to make the checker pieces. Okay? Let me take you to the next step. Okay, so you're going to cut out a three inch circle all the way around, 
And then you're going to cut uh, 24 in red and 24 in black. Or you can use the same fabric you used for making your uh, checkerboard. All right? And you're going to cut uh, 24 in um, the inner, the, what's it called? You're going to cut 24 out in the batting. All right? From then there, you're going to put uh, your right sides together with your um, 24 black, your 24 uh, in black and 24 in red, and then you're going to take your webbing and put it on one side, all right? And then you're going to sew a half a seam around here, then you're going to pull right sides out, and then I'll take you to the next step, okay? So after you pull right sides out, you're going to tuck your ends in, and then you're going to sew it. And then you're going to do that to the remainder of your pieces, okay? So then, now I'm going to show you how to make the bag for these checkers, alright? So for a bag, you're going to cut a piece of fabric that's 8 by 8 Then you're going to fold it in half, and you're going to sew one edge up. And then you're going to fold down your... Um, your top by one inch and you're going to sew a half an inch line over you're going to insert your elastic and you're going to pull tight for our bag for our um, checker pieces alright and then you're going to pull right sides out and then I'll take you to the next step Okay. so without your checkers being in your bag you're going to sew along the edge and then you're going to put your checkers in here and then you're done alright let me show you what that looks like in its full entirety. This is what it looks like all done. You got your checkerboard, your checkers are in here with your holding bag. Alright, that's what that looks like, alright.